Our next item is really, really important. We're going to recognize uh, some special uh, police officers that received uh, merit of um, of uh, uh, awards and so forth. So I'm going to call in the chief, but I'm going to mention first of all that we have uh, Detect Detective uh, Jeff K. That, that was recognized by the Peace Officer Association of Ventura County as Investigator of the Year recipient. And also we have two officers, Corbin Haynes and Alex Smith, who uh, were also uh, rec were recognized with the Medal of Merit Awards recipients by the Ventura County, uh, Ventura County Association. So, Chief, when he's getting, we want to share additional information on this. Re really, we're really, really proud of those three officers, you know, that, that we're, you're going to recognize tonight. And we're going, yes, to have a, we're going to have the accommodations at City Hall tomorrow for them, but go ahead, Chief. Yes, uh, good evening, uh, Mayor. Can you hear me okay from where I'm at? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. um, I'd like to uh, first start by thanking Mayor and Council for uh, recognizing the officers in this forum this evening. Um, the Peace Officers Association of Ventura County is a, it's a combination of re representatives from a variety of Ventura County agencies. And their purpose is, uh, is to uh, promote interdepartmental cooperation and professional relationships between the agencies. So Every other year, they hold a, a, a awards ceremony that recognizes officers for valor, for merit, and for excellence. And because of COVID-19, uh, the uh, the service or the uh, the awards function was canceled. So what we ended up doing was giving them uh, uh, their awards, these three officers, in a very private and informal ceremony earlier last earlier uh, actually in June. I'm going to, rather than read the, uh, the commendations to you, I'd like to actually just kind of relate the stories of what they did. Um, mm -hmm. Officers Corbin and officers Alex Smith, uh, Alex Smith is actually on vacation, uh, unable to be with us here with us this evening. They were both actually at the borderline grill during the night of November 7th, 2018. And as I go further into this, note that all these stories are based on terrible circumstances and terrible situations that these officers have had to deal with. And on the night of uh, the 7th of November, Officer Corbin Hames was standing near the dance floor in the uh, borderline grill when shots rang out. He then began to push, recognizing what had happened, he began to push the other uh, patrons away from where they recognized the suspect to be. Corbin used a bar stool to break one of the windows. And if anybody has seen how that structure is built, there's some windows that kind of have a, a, a drop off. Um, after breaking this window, he assisted many of the patrons outside of this window and down to the ground and out of the building. Once he got outside, he uh, provided medical aid to injured patrons and also continued to assist the, with the victims. Now of note, you know, both officers I mentioned were off duty at this bar. They were unarmed and they had no other means to defend themselves. So they, uh, throughout the incident, uh, Officer Hames was able to uh, provide the sheriff's deputies and first responders with information uh, that, about what was going inside the business. Officer Alex Smith was there. He, he was also with uh, Officer Hames that night. He heard the distinct sound of gunfire. And when responding to this, he started to herd people over to get them to cover. And as this happened, the person that was standing next to him actually uh, was stumbled as if she had been struck by the gunfire. He grabbed this person and escorted her out, out of the bar. When Officer Smith got to the window of the business, he punched the glass and breached the window to create an escape route for other uh, uh, panicked patrons during this time. And then once getting outside, Officer Smith helped establish what they call a collection point for injured and um, uh, those people that were had escaped from the building. And also like Corbin Hames had helped with uh, giving the uh, responding deputies and officers from a variety of departments uh, directions and information as to what had happened inside the bar. Very terrible situation. And the actions of both of these officers unequivocally, and I'll say this unequivocally, undoubtedly saved many lives of patrons that were there that night. And, and that is why uh, they are to be commended for, for their actions. Now, I'll finish with uh, Detective Jeff K. I've known Detective Jeff K for quite so if you go to our webpage, but Jeff has been the lead investigator on a number of cold cases which have been solved, uh, some cases going back to the early 80s. In 2018, Detective K became involved in the case of a three-year-old Kimberly Lopez Chavez, or Chavez Lopez. 
she had disappeared in 2015 and, and it was off of the radar, but Jeff and the detectives felt that there was something very wrong here. And a very tenacious investigation actually led to confessions uh, from the parents that they had actually killed the little girl and disposed of her body in Mexico. The father later pled guilty to this uh, as well, as well as the grandmother of, uh, of, of poor little Kimberly. Uh, what was interesting about this case is that it was prosecuted without actually finding uh, a body to, to go along with the case. So he actually presented this case to the national, actually the California Homicide Investigators Association in Las Vegas, which is a pretty, pretty notable achievement to, uh, to have such a, uh, to do such a complex and very trying investigation. So in short, uh, Mayor Council, I will just tell you that these awards here have been a long time coming and they re reflect the courage, the selflessness, the skill and the dedication of our detectives. And these officers, rose to the occasion under some very difficult circumstances and they performed exceptionally well. Um, in short, I am just very, very proud to be part of the same organization as them. Thank you, thank you, Chief. And it's really again, thank you again to Jeff uh, Kay and Corbin Haynes and also Alex Smith. Uh, those, uh, those are notorious type things that happen and they're, they were known across the US and across the world for that matter, you know, but uh, we don't be known for that, but however, they were they, we, we thank him again for be, being the recipients and being there to assist our, the public. And thank you so much, Chief. And again, Jeff, Corbin, and Alex, thank you very much for, for your service. Um, uh, Mayor Pro Tem. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I just wanted to uh, say thank you to the officers for giving you your 110% of that. I know it sounds cliche, but this is really the DNA of public safety folks. This is what they do. Um, they do it without regard for their own safety or, or anything else other than the safety of the people that they work for. So um, these are prestigious awards. You're very deserving of them. And thank you for all that you do for our community and, and our area. Thank you, Mayor Pro Tem. Um, Councilman Perellum. Mm -hmm. yeah, I wish uh, congratulations to the to the, gen the individuals that have won the awards and their family. It reflects on your families also but it also reflects on the men and women that you work with. In this modern age, a few days after the 4th of July, when with the internet and social media is back and forth that the PD didn't do anything, uh, you guys go above and beyond. We understand it's your job, but this is above and beyond. You'd be a terrific credit. And it reflects on the city of Oxnard for having you work for us. Thank you, be safe. Thank you, Council Member Turan. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, I just, my colleagues uh, have already said quite a few words. Um, I just want to send congratulations as well. And thank you to the uh, recipients for your work for our community. So thank you very much. Thank you, man. Uh, thank you again, Chief and, and your men for excellent work. Thank you for 